Hi everyone, it's Jane at Rockin' Worms. It's the end of a very long day and I'm not camera ready, but this is something I want to show you anyways. I am in one of my breeder bins and I'm resetting it, which means I'm pulling out breeders, putting them into a new fresh bin so they can start their next 21 day cycle. All right, these little piles here, by the way, are the breeders I've already pulled out of the current breeder bin, and they're going into their new breeder bin under these piles. And these piles actually mean something that I'll cover with you in just a few minutes after I show you what I want to show you in the original breeder bin. I want to show you this section first, which is the part of the breeder bin, I've already gone through and pulled out the breeders, okay? So what's left in here is the residual bedding, if you will, which is, as you can see, mostly castings, but not entirely, but mostly castings, and a boatload of cocoons. And what I want to show you is just how many cocoons are in here and then I want to show you the worms, the breeder worms that made these cocoons. Because, again, that's really what I want you to have as a takeaway here. So, cameraman, can you see all those cocoons? Give you a second to do a little pan shot. And now I'm going to turn it over again from the bottom. So these are all new cocoons. From the bottom, all new cocoons. Again, you can see that there are a ton of cocoons in this breeder bin. That's okay. Little worm here. That's fine. This is just a hatchling, an early bird from this round, or perhaps a wisp that hatched from a cocoon that I missed, you know, taking off a breeder on the last reset. Either way, it's fine. All right, I'm just going to put him over there because I'm actually going to put him into a wisp bin when I'm done. Anyways, lots of cocoons, right? Now, this is what this is all about. The breeders. I want to show you, these are the breeders that made these cocoons. What's so special about them? The answer is nothing is special about them. These are actually small breeders, skinny breeders. These are first time in a breeder bin breeders. These breeders came from grow out bins I have prior to the time that they've spent in this bin, the last, actually this is only about 18 days. It's not even 21 days yet. These are small worms. Let me pick up a couple so you can see them in my hand. Because they do look bigger on camera, but they're actually small, skinny worms. But these small, skinny breeders produced all these cocoons. So what I want you to take away from this is don't feel like you have to wait until your breeders are chunky. Let me turn over some more of these breeders. This is the last corner I have to uh, pull out. Pull down. There's a big bunch in here. I can feel them with my glove. There we go. So don't feel that you have to wait until your breeders are big and chunky before you set them up in a breeder bin. They will breed just fine if you give them the overall right circumstances, the right environment, which is good bedding loaded with biota, and food sources like worm chow, which is what I use, and you make it sufficiently moist so they're really comfortable, they can breathe easy, and they can get to their job of making cocoons. You don't have to wait until your breeders are fat and sassy in order to put them to work to increase your worm population through cocoon production, all right? because we always talk about chunky worms, but skinny worms work, okay? Some of, you know, some of you have you know, commented or emailed me and said, my worms are skinny, they're not fat like yours, what am I doing wrong? 
And as I always answer, you're not doing anything wrong. Continue to feed your worms more high calorie, easy food like worm chow. And just give them a chance to chonky up from there. I fully expect that these skinnier worms, which are now bubbling because they're unhappy, um, will be fatter the next cycle. Next cycle, excuse me. And even fatter the third and fourth cycle because they just need time. All right? So that's that. I'm going to cover them up for a minute because I am pulling them. But I'm counting, so I can't pull and count and talk to you guys all at the same time. So let us, let's go back over to the reset breeder bin because I have talked about this little trick, but I want to refresh it for everybody who hadn't heard it before or paid attention or, you know, it just wasn't relevant at, relevant at the time. But now, you know, you're thinking about setting up breeder bins. When you do a reset, there's many ways to pull your breeders out. And what I'm finding lately, as I evolve my own methods, that this is the new method I like best. And that is putting your breeders in a pile and then let them go down from the light migration and we'll see how they leave behind the cocoons that stick to their body. Now I can come in and just scoop these off the bedding and the cocoons, scoop them off and put them back in my cocoon bin, all right? And when I get down to a little bit of bedding and most of the worms are down, as you can see, I have a couple cocoons here still and I just reach in and gently pick them out and put them back into the cocoon bin. Then I spread out the material a little bit more. Oop, I have a cocoon here. So I just go in and pick it out. You can see it on my glove, I think, right? And this way, I easily remove as many cocoons. Here's another one. As many cocoons from the new breeder bin setup as I reasonably can. Okay, and again, I'm not saying I'm gonna catch every one of them because you just can't, okay? But I'm gonna catch the vast majority of them. So this pile is pretty much done. And then just to give you another example, here are cocoons that were attached, you know, kind of stick stuck to the bodies of the breeders as I pulled them out of the old breeder bin and put them into the new breeder bin. And now I'm just gonna go in and scoop it off. Here's more cocoons, see? More cocoons. Just gonna go in, scoop them off, put them back, easy cheesy. And that is, I think, a nice little worm hack that can help you when you're resetting your breeder bins, especially, you know, if you're new to the game and you need, you know, all the help you can get. Right? Don't we all, when we begin, we need help. And that's what we're here for. I'm here for to help you be successful with your worm journey. Okay? So I'm going to get back to work and uh, finish pulling my breeders and putting them into their new system, their new bedding. And uh, yeah, we'll see how this progresses. So give me a like, give me a subscribe, do all that fun stuff for me. And I'll see you on the next video. I am yours in the dirt, Jane.